we go again. Once I actually get some stuff going. I'm just waiting for a few things to boot up here. And uh, let's also reset the audio output once again. Don't know why it doesn't register. <laughs> this now. Thank you very much. I appreciate the help. Yeah, so I'm uh, trying out my new uh, setup here. I figured if I'm going to be streaming regularly, might as well uh, get some stuff going on in the background there. Show off my uh, VR setup and uh, lightsabers while I'm at it. <laughs> Thank you. I like the lightsabers. Put a lot of work into those over the weekend while a certain someone was uh, playing Hades a lot. Uh, okay, so where was I? <laughs> Gosh, I wonder who. Was doing a thing. What was that thing? I say this every time I watch this game. Uh, oh, there was. Let's see. Oh yeah, the Who Done It, Femme Fatale. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's do this one. It's uh, almost a mystery. Yeah. Okay. Where are we going with this one? We are going way the hell up there. Okay. Congress and Madison. I like that the map is kind of 3D, so I can almost get a sense of what level I need to teleport to. Almost. Okay. No, I can I can go to Embers. I think that'll work. Oh, and find another tarot card. Hell, why not? Okay. Look both ways before getting run over. There we go. And so head over here. Yeah, I think uh, I think I really like this background for uh, streaming now. The only trick is going to be uh, figuring out how to use it for work Zoom calls. I guess I can close all of the blinds and make it look dark so I uh, have the the cave thing going. All right, tarot card is 
and where is that? Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look like a love hotel at all. I'm gonna have to try harder then. Damn. Why I gotta quash my dreams? Oh. Well, that sure looks like a tarot card. Okay. That's death. Okay, I guess that's death. Stop judging me. You're not my real mom. Star Wars Love Hotel would be a pretty killer business idea. That would make some cash. I was about to say, I don't know why I'm running there, but then I remembered trying to drive in this game. Uh, yeah, now I know why I'm running there. Right. Okay. One thing I will say is if they have crowds like this on the streets, I really wish they had something like Assassin's Creed's crowd mechanics making way through, like just crowds of meaningless NPCs. They did that one really well. Okay, so... Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Alright, this looks totally legit. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Ferraris. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. I love that 80s hair. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. Care to enlighten me? These earrings aren't bad either, actually. So, what do you got for me? Look heavy. Carter, let's go. <laughs> Elizabeth? <laughs> Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. DM just came in saying they're unicorn hunters. Uh, they look it. Yeah. Yeah. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, <laughs> yes. We have a 100% consensus. <laughs> they are unicorn hunters. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant Damn malfunction. It, I need more time! But we're I left wondering about the cyber psycho attack <laughs> City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. Uh-huh. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he <clears throat> made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Okay, that is a question you never ask, but uh, these things don't have any kind of effect in this game, so I'm just going to ask scroll. Ryan was making a policy. <clears throat> BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. I'm actually kind of curious who the voice actors for these two people are. They almost sound All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any fine that would clarify things. Alleviate 
lingering depths. Mm hmm. Get me stabbed in the back. Or shot, right? This is cyberpunk. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain, too, isn't it? Okay. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. That is a pretty anticipated side effect. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Got to speak to the mayor's chief of security. Cream. Do it after the conference. Suspicious. Okay. Let's see what we have here then. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. <laughs> People are the same every. Okay. Well, it's coming out your ass. That's it. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch is no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. What the point was. What the hell was the point of that dialogue? <sighs> what? 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 Oh my god. security. Cream. Do it after the conference. Yep, that's crash, all right. Okay. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. All the way back to the beginning. Okay. What are we doing? Who's the here? whole guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Okay. 
Okay. And what do we have here? So thermal layer. Okay. Cool. And on the audio layer, what do we have? Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, all for their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Well, well, well. Okay. Audio, but if we switch layers, they left literally seconds before the attack. That looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Not it. Uh, exit, exit, exit. Okay, and how do we exit again? That is a great question. Having. All right. I am going to have to go to the settings and remember which key binding was exit. X! Well, that makes sense. See anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? The whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. 
Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. Yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Uh, sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. And believable. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. <clears throat> NCPD. That's it. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh, what a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. I don't know why I was crouched for that entire conversation, but... What the hell? Ah, shit! Currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Fine, I'll have a look around. The exact location, huh? That doesn't seem likely. But... What the hell? so much the exact location okay well oh uh, that's danger very high don't want to buy a vehicle to go to ripper dock all right oh sh what holy crap no there's got to be a better way than that there's got to be what about you Let's talk. I'm not going them. back. Hear me? Never. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Great. So, as I was saying, you never get yourself chipped. Kind of like having a dentist with no teeth, isn't it? I have huh. good rep. You won't hear any complaint about me. Why? I mean, your job would be a lot easier with some zoom-capable Karashi optics. I'm sure it would. Until the day this planet gets hit by a massive solar flare. I'm talking about a geomagnetic storm that wipes out all live circuit systems. Uh, implants included. So why would I get Karashi if sooner or later I just go blind? Hey! Lost him. If you're so paranoid, why are you chipping other people with chrome? I like the job. Besides, nobody wants to hear the truth anyway. You mind taking a look at my chrome? Sure. Make yourself comfortable.
All right, what do we have here? I've got nine, six, and four. So basically, I can't really afford anything. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Basically, I don't have requirements for anything. Hey, lost him. Okay, well. How about hands? I already got everything there. Arms. Forty-five street cred for mono wire. Okay, well at least now I know where to get it. Same with mantis blades. Oh wow. Okay. These are all legendaries. Ooh, frontal cortex. I can't get anything. Okay. Got it. Hey! Lost him. I think the car is just driving around in circles. Uh. Okay. So it appears that I can't actually buy anything here. Ooh. Except that, that seems good. Cool, let's do that. All right, now I guess we have to go chase a fucking car. Hey, let's talk. I'm not going back. Hear me? Never. Try to take me and I'll crush you. Okay. Well then, let's uh, summon a vehicle and see about that. Maybe not. A motorcycle. <clears throat> okay. Now let's uh, plug this in here. The police are asking any willing volunteers eager to help in the effort to report to their local NCPD station. In exchange, the police are offering the chance of a criminal record reset to those who actively participate. Night City, what does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who is Richard Knight? Try to take me and I'll crush you! Let's see who crushes who! Carajo! Some people! Thank you for spending your day with Don't get out and actually damage them. Now, as we were saying, no, call Detective Ward. Right. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why you're not a cop. 
Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber cycle. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. Got my car here. Why not? Put them. Whoa. Anything in the trunk? Can't tell. Okay. Should not have unplugged my controller so soon. Driving with the keyboard. Mm. Not fun. Actually, no, it's a lot of fun because, well, I suck at it. And that's what makes it fun to watch. Perfect corner. Okay, now I'm suspicious. I mean, I like Judy, but... Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. The River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. Okay. Hey, Thanks for agreeing to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you really intend to work with a monk? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, let your case go. You see me do anything? I'm just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Uh, gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over. Okay. Talk. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive in the dead of space. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to you. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my Seriously. clients. Seriously? The fuck? Well, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. 
And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Discovering my own ass, my own safety is at stake too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson, the presumed future mayor. Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Pawn was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Is that a come on? Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Wow. I mean, I knew my car was thin, but not that thin. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo shooting up dumpsters. That was my car, dude! Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. He took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because... Got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Morales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? But no, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horbach worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. Right. So, what you first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. I'm kind of fascinated by the way the computer decides to drive when its own cars are being a little weird. Well, let's just go ahead and skip that. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. But he's your guy. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. Ooh. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? A proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. 
plus he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. All right. Where there's smoke, there's bombs. Does the underwear disappear? When I look at it, it does. That's a really weird artifact. Dis what? Okay. I was gonna say, like, I could use some of that underwear. What? Uh, what? What are these? I think I'm going to have nightmares tonight. You're looking for a what? General inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Not anymore. What the? <laughs> Igor says hi. Fuck no! Said I was done. I was out. All right. Guess we're going on a chase. One question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits, near the river, Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries, goods, sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. I shut it all down. <laughs> shut it down. Before or after Mayor Vine died. Soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. Seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. <laughs> market? I More bet you did. employer, it. one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. What I find best about all of this is the idea that in 2077 people are still using the word peeps. Come on. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. You're going to take my car? Sure. Thanks. It's actually a pretty good car. Did you know last gen cybernet can damage your nervous system? Make sure your implant is always the way to
Yes, if someone says yeet or it's lit, this game is going to be terribly dated by the time it's even released. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking, but you know that already. I must say, you're kind of natural. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. Yeah. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cybercycle's <coughs> boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. Biohazard as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, Lee. Oh, God. Judy. So, you got a plan? Damn right, I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. So it's an orgy. That? Got something really big. <sighs> Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? I I love thinking of this as an orgy negotiation. A and A, artichokes and avocado flavor. And zucchini for good measure. What the hell, V? Cool, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind Ooh, of plan. Uh, okay. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Yes, I am. Of course I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, avocado flavor? What? I don't even get that. I think that was a joke. <laughs> it's like asking for vodka flavor. Or celery flavor. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Can the orgy negotiations. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't Christine BD Heads Markov. Anonymous. You Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. Hmm? No, she's over there. Stall with the thing. Thanks. If I could just okay. get there. Why is this so complicated? There we go. Okay, you got it. What the fuck are you smiling at? Okay. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges. Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. <clears throat> Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. Oh, yeah, made scabs on scabs here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scarf to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter hey, showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pedo, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. Is that a New York was accent? Was jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Jersey? Long Island? These uh, speeches, what did he have to say? 
grind. Corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Brian was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit. It's decent to give a fuck. But a little too relevant. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Brooklyn, maybe? Yeah. Maybe Brooklyn. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my Cleon's help. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually. Sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. The accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Doug. Love that it's still Chum in Japanese. Years. Don't you Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off. Let's get this party started! Ha ha ha! Bodies? Dude, didn't you ever play D D? <laughs> Crazy fool! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love something about a game that has its NPCs trip over the bodies of other NPCs, get up and then swear at them and run off again. That's oh beautiful touch. <laughs> Oh. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay. We're at Queen's Race now. First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Right. Well, so there's this down here. Way down here. Okay. Or we could. Go to Judy's apartment. And also maybe recycle a few things, like the shit I just picked up. Way. Cool. Let's 
Oh, Julia has friends. That's true. Why don't we have oh, hell no. the most of G? Oh, didn't see you there. Sorry. You must be V. Hey, Tom. Pleasure to meet you. Say, come on. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Okay. Respect. Feed in itself from what I've seen of the place. Just been lucky, I guess. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. He likes such a gunk now. Come here because you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? No tears for fears? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. <gasps> Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulse is There's to plant no any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Good evening, night Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. That's the ethical challenge? Not remembering a thing? But... Okay. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How'd you ever come up with this? 
learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. Oh my god. I'm gonna regret this dialogue option. Alright. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Shut Tom. up, Michael. Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Really? Don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now. Work. Gotta do some cardio. How did yourself? If you were to sell that, <laughs> you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please, plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro nuked. Good choice. V. You got something to say? Just say it. Who? Me? This is my impressed face. Yeah, it looks a lot like an asshole face. I mean... V? <laughs> no coincidence. Happy now. I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down. Disarm. Escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato. Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Hey, you there. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hold points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment. Where he thinks he's completely safe. Bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Just for that, we are fucking Count me doing in, it. Judy. I already said fuck I'd you, help, Keanu. Thanks, B. 
Save the gratitude for later, please. Ah, I'll set shit. up to meet with Yomi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared of you. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But you... Ep, ep, ep. Not a word. V, uh, 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 everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna collect. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Congrats, I guess. You? You were great. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy! she dabbled in robotics now that's fucking shimra think that's how she winds down after a day's work of tuning hardcore smut wouldn't be surprised
No, really, Johnny. It was just to fuck with you. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh... You know what? We can probably do other things than just wait until evening. Fuck you! It's six in the morning. I'm not gonna waste an entire day. Jesus Christ! All right, let's uh, yeah, let's go meet with Panam. Panam, sorry. Defunct airline. It's hilarious because it's the future. Okay. Way the hell over there. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Well, I really need this otter. Uh, no. I have cumin and chili. Uh, yeah, uh-huh, yes. Corporate Wars the Musical. Excellent. This is terrible. V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. No, I will not. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. That's my new pickup line. Well, I'll be... N M and V. What's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. <laughs> Qu 
quest goal. Lean against the car. Okay. Is there a problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. Sounds That's why we'll right. go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! Yes, I am. He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... You see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. He's still there. We have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Setting up for a real heist here. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? Probably the one they can saw in. Nope. Low sniper. Low people. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Feel like 
like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Yes. Can't tag any of these people. Okay. Fine. I guess I've got plenty already. The skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you. But we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few. So we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. How do you see our chances? I was helping Mitch with the drones, and truth be told, it doesn't look good. Those parasites knew just where and how to hunker down. If you want to know my take, I think Pan Am's right. In and out quietly, our best bet. But that's no fun. So, what? You're at the helm of the clan now? Something you'd like to say? Just curious. Looks like you're in charge of the camp with Saul gone. I simply have the loudest opinions. And just so happens most folks tend to agree with them. But I'd like to be clear. What you and Pan Am aim to do, I'm grateful. Even if your plan has little chance of succeeding. Aren't you the optimist? A realist. But good luck all the same. Try not to die. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. I'd rather move my ass than sit on it, that's for damn sure. But when the clan's decided, it's decided. That's the way things are. I don't know. Maybe it'll be our own undoing. You know, we could use a war vet's expertise. Sure you're staying back? I'm sure every passing second puts Saul another step closer to death's door. Go on, V. Get him out of there. What do you think, all that's going on? My stint in Mexico taught me there's no hole you can't crawl out of. <laughs> oh my god. But to do that sure helps having a guiding hand, if you catch my meaning. 
Saul, you want my two innies? Without him, all this comes unglued. Wow. Yeah, the accents are fantastic. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Well, that's a mistake. Also, I'm sure that there was something about phrasing in there. Oh, yeah. We even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. This way? What? Okay. What, is this traffic? Seriously? I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the song I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad in more than its look we have to move quickly okay okay let's go over the plan again you slip into the rates camp soft as a fox fox we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop really you don't think they'll have just seen us coming and suspiciously parking behind okay, the outcrop out I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight you just watch yourself down there okay oh great all that tagging I did means nothing fantastic okay Take a look at some people some more. Okay. We're not going around the other side here. I should probably sneak down and grab that guy. Just to 
Make sure this doesn't backfire on me later. But it kind of seems like that might be more trouble than it's worth, right? here too. It actually makes me really nervous that I can't see the snipers anymore. needs to get tagged. Alright, I think we're good here. You don't say it's a hostile area. Else, we should save before. Stupid. Okay. Lots of people I can possibly get in there. But there are certainly dudes to worry about. Actually, get through there as much as I might want to.
gonna get all kinds of interesting threading my way between all of these people. Sniper perched in the tower. Okay, main building. Watch for a vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. Again, save before stupid, because I am going to punch the door here. Start hacking my way into fame and glory. All right, give you one two one CBD, one two one two five five, one two CBD. their money in a fridge. On the other hand, hell, I mean, why not? I guess this isn't actually the control room. Damn.
we are in danger of being discovered. I do need to go in here. Okay. Problematic. Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Locked in the cellar, huh? That's being better than being trapped in the closet. Ooh, what are you? You in here? You know what else is the wiser? No one else down there.
do 551CBD, 5551CBD. All right, I guess we'll just drop him right here. Should be out of the way, I hope. And what have we here? Okay, epic, nice. Seems to be completely nonplussed by his buddy's absence. That's right, you just keep leaning there and contemplating. Okay, well, dump you with your buff, why not? Cool. Alright, cool pants. Well, there was something, why not?
Okay, so about getting into the cellar now. Well, that seems like a stairway. What's in here? Ooh. Loot? I'll take loot. Hell yeah, that's some nice loot. Okay. Well, let's uh, head down and see what we have here. So now is where I have to check. Do I have a silenced pistol? Because that would be really handy right about now. Do not. Something just seems wrong about silencing a uh, revolver. Oh, what the hell? Let's do it. All right, and what do we have here? Don't really care about the knife. Do 
Got a girl here, dead, disemboweled, and not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking rabbits, soulless filth. There's no line they won't cross, none. Armadillo crafting spell? Okay. Don't recall what the armadillo is, but I will always take another crafting spec. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Hair wax, okay. Sure, why not? Could be handy. Okay, nothing too useful there. Right, I think I got eyes on him. Is he? Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Sure seems like it anyway, he's moving, so... Good sign. The question is, is there anyone else here? Cool. Well, that seems nice. Good shortcut. So, do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Cigar. I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But 
She left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Damn, that's a lot of money. We'll happily take that. Badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. And if we can be just as sly together, I might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. That is a storm. Okay. Uh, you coming? Okay. There we go. I love that in the future minivans still look the same. That storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. to ride through the middle of the storm with two people who aren't speaking to each other. Let's skip ahead. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. I'll just switch you back to uh, good old Lizzie there. Oh, okay. Inside, quick! Good old Lizzy. Really? Action blocked? Okay. I need to catch my breath. Now can I switch it back? Apparently not. Okay, well, okay. Just in time for dinner. I'm not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. Switch it back. No. 
Okay, fine. Jesus Christ. A lot of useful things. Daniel's a letter in a hurry. Biotech has made him a good offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land. You don't know that. No backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp. You end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. Apparently, I cannot change weapons at all for this entire thing. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Right, give me a sec. Thank you. If Saul freezes to death, it will have been a wasted day. Wow, okay, I guess I'm going out there. Questionable whiskey. Expiration dates from before the last war. <laughs> Is this even safe? Today's our lucky day. Lucky. Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you hadn't mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few, like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vay, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so seen plenty. Arasaka's not Biotechnica. The difference is not in the MO. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? You'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. <laughs> but right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. 
Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. What? Well, what was that about? I mean, I just want to try the whiskey. To haboobs. Boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? A fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, man. Mm hmm. I couldn't ask for more. <laughs> How's your whiskey, man? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. All right. I guess we're going there. Come on. Sure you'd be cozier with your shoes out. <laughs> After a full day in them, I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> oh god okay yeah why not <sighs> got a few ideas think you know what kind uh the okay no it's really nice as is let's not spoil it okay props to them for not going down the you can romance every single person option I, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. No, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh. Do you hear that? No. Hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. Given the rest of the game, I honestly thought they would just let you fuck any person they show you. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Okay, and that seems like a good place to leave it for the night. I'll see everyone else later on.